What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released iOS 17.5 to everyone in the world. We got a couple of things to cover, so let's get started. And if you're wondering about the update size, it's going to be smaller for you, unless you came from a beta. So that is why mine is 6 gigabytes. yours should not be 6 gigabytes. Now what is new here inside the software? The first thing is has to do with the lock screen. So if I were to press this plus button and scroll down a bit, you're gonna see we got some brand new pride wallpapers here. So there's the original one, there's the one we got last year, and then here are the brand new ones. They come in multiple different colors now. So here's the first version, here's the second version, third version, fourth version, and fifth version. And you could once again add your custom font and add all your widgets just like that it's just a brand new lock screen however it is a pretty cool one so let me add it here real fast and then if i were to scroll up you could see it has a pretty cool effect so yes yeah, this is a really cool lock screen unfortunately i'm not going to be using this but yeah it's a pretty cool lock screen if you're into this all right the next thing has to do with the news app so if we were to go into news in here and then go into the news plus section you're able to have games like there's a new game inside of here so right here we have the crossword puzzles, but there's this new one called, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that, Cord Quartiles, I think. And you're just able to play, I can't play because I don't have to use plus, but apparently it's pretty fun according to the people. And yeah, pretty cool if you are into the news app and have news plus. Uh, the next thing also in the news app, Apple has seemed to be focusing on the news app is if you go down, you now have leaderboards. I unfortunately don't have access to this, but from what I've been told, this is what is new inside the news app. And the today view can now be accessed offline. So pretty cool features inside the news app. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna use this myself, but if you have news plus and use the news app often, I bet you'll be pretty happy about these brand new features and quality of life improvements inside of the news app. Now, the next thing had to do with item trackers. So. You know the, how people have been stocking with air tags lately? Well, other item trackers can be used for the same exact thing, like tile, the Samsung trackers, pretty much everything can be used. But Apple wants to put a stop to this. So Apple has partnered with Google. Now in iOS 17.5, you will now get the same pop-up for air tags as with the Samsung trackers. It's just a lot easier to make sure you're not getting stalked. It's an open standard. Apple and Google apparently care about you, even though they really don't. They only care about the money. It's nice to see Android is also getting AirTag support for the stalking. It's just a nice way to continue to end the stalking inside of iOS. All right, so the next thing has to do with iPadOS right here. So inside of iPadOS, there's a new button on the bottom that says scan document. And if I were to press it, it will just scan the document, it will add the position of view, and it's just a lot easier to scan documents now. You no longer need to do it in the Files app or third-party app. You can now just do it inside of the camera app now, which is a really nice feature that Apple has added. It's mostly for the new iPad Pros. That's the reason why they added it to the camera app to begin with, because it's now used for the iPads now. Fortunately, it's not in iOS for whatever reason, but hopefully it comes there pretty soon. All right, so the next thing has to do with Safari. So if you live in the European Union, you were already able to sideload apps kind of with the App Store. However, Apple has only made it with the App Store. And unfortunately, the EU has forced Apple to make it inside of Safari as well. And they totally do this ASAP. So what Apple did is that they made a new API for JavaScript where developers will now be able to have downloads inside of Safari and not needing it in the app store themselves. That is a really nice feature Apple has added. And unfortunately, I live in the land of the free and we are not free to do what we want with our iPhones quite yet. Maybe that will come one day, but unfortunately right now, you gotta just go to Europe, gotta travel to Europe and then come back and then we'll be able to, or a couple days, of course. Unfortunately, that is pretty much it inside of iOS 17.5, besides some couple of business related features. However, this video is targeted towards the average consumer who is interested in what is new in iOS 17.5. Let me know if that is you down in the comments down below. And if you're expecting more features, most of the developers on iOS 17 have moved on to iOS 18. They're working on iOS 18 right now, probably as you are watching this video, which is pretty cool to think about. And we are expecting a lot of features. I'm not gonna spoil it because some people who are watching this video might not want to know what they are yet until Apple has announced them but I will be sure to be going in depth into iOS 18 content 
later this June when iOS 18 comes out at DubDub. And also be going live for WWDC and be reacting to it, so be sure to be there or be square. And thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps, Willy Widget, and Study Direct down in the description down below. And join the Discord server and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!